And we're back here at Tournament Central for the next matchup of the first round of the 2022 Elkhart County Historical Museum Collections Tournament. And today, we're going to have the newcomer, our Visitor Services Assistant Paige Renshaw, introduce her first matchup. Paige is going to have two minutes to present her items, and today we have a good one. We're going to have the book from Violet Schmidt. In fact, last year's champion returned to the tournament. So she's going to present the story of Violet Spitz's autographed book going up against the new Weld the American flag. So two minutes to present from each item. We're going to send it off to Paige. So Paige, take it away and present your items. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my very first bracket and my very first time taking part of the collections tournament. Now, as the newbie, I thought it was only right to start off with last year's victorious champion. Now, what you're looking at here is none other than the autographed book titled The Little Girl Who Waved. Now, this book is about a little girl named Curly Top. Curly Top was from Elkhart County. This little girl was born with 13 chestnut brown curls, hence the name Curly Top. Now, her real name is Violet Schmidt. Violet Schmidt grew up in Elkhart County, right next to the New York Central Railroad tracks. Every single day, faithfully, she would wave by the trains passing by. Throughout her lifetime, she waved to several famous people that even you and I would know. Now, if you're interested in voting the little girl who waved through to the next round, I'll not only tell you who she waved to, but I'll tell you a little bit more about her family, her life, and how this book influenced our very own museum. Hello everybody, the second item in my bracket competing against the last year's champion is this flag you're seeing right above me. Now, this isn't just any ordinary flag. This flag not only has only 48 stars, but it also was draped over the casket of one of Wakarusa's war heroes. Now, Noelle Wheelie served abroad the USS Liz Combe during World War II. He served as a tail gunman. Now, in November of 1943, he was declared missing in action. On November 25th, 1943, he was declared dead. Newell Wieldy was also given a Purple Heart for his service with the U.S. Navy. If you're interested in hearing more about this flag and whose casket it laid over, vote it through. All right, thank you, Paige. Two really great histories there. Thankfully, I don't have to choose which one's going to move on. Will it be last year's champion, Violet Schmidt's book, or this new item, the flag of, of Newell Wieldy? So you've heard the stories, you've heard the history. Do you want to hear more history and stories? Pick one of these items to vote, vote on. So this will be posted at the Elkhart County Historical Museum Facebook page, the Elkhart County Parks YouTube page. You have about 48 hours to cast your vote to see which one of these is going to move on. Is there, it, will there be a new champion? Or are Violet Schmidt's hopes of repeating going to continue on into the Elite Eight? You need to tell us which one's going to move on. And a simple comment in either the YouTube page or our Facebook page will cast your vote. So think about these items, contemplate them, watch this vi these videos with your family and friends and have them vote as well. Because the more people vote, the more chance we get to see which which item will reign supreme in the 2022 Elkhart County Historical Museum Collections Tournament. So until the next round, thank you for watching, cast your vote, and we'll see you next time.